In this section, we're going to be looking at ratios. And I'm going to start you off with a practical example, just to show you how they can be introduced. So, um, if you think of the Spanish drink sangria, sangria is a mix of red wine, uh, orange juice, and lemonade. Obviously there are different mixes depending on what you're drinking. And they are split up into three parts of the red wine, two parts orange juice, and one part lemonade. So this tells you how much you will need of each. So if you had, um, it would be 300 mils of red wine, 200 mils of orange juice, or 100 mil of lemonade. Or it could be three gallons of red wine, two gallons of orange juice, one gallon of lemonade. Okay. So the fact that you've got it split up into parts shows you that, uh, well, shows you the recipe that will make it consistent. Okay. So depending on how large an amount you are going to make or how small, and you could represent these parts in a ratio like this. And we use the colon to represent a space between the different parts. And it's all about shares, really. So three shares red wine, two shares orange juice, and one share lemonade. Now there is a distinct link between ratios and fractions. Because altogether we have six shares. 3 plus 2 plus 1, or 6 parts. So 3 out of the 6 would be red wine, 2 out of the 6 would be orange juice, and 1 out of the 6, or 1 out of the 6, would be lemonade. And so there is a distinct link between ratio and then converting it into fractions. This practice could also be seen as dividing each element by six. And that is where we're going to go in the next video where we go into simplifying ratios.